Hey fellas, uh, some of you will remember that I've been talking about upgrading to hobby grade and this is kind of a preview of what that's going to be. Um, this is a Turnigy 9X radio. This is the radio I got. It's the radio I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to run at least three tanks on this. Uh, one is the S33. It's an IMAX Taijin full metal. Well, used to be plastic. Uh, Tiger 1 early. This is the one that I got it. It was all plastic and it's basically full metal now. Um, it's got an RC2TG and it's an airsoft tank. It's got the four shaft black steel gearboxes. The other one is the S33. Um, it's also uh, an IMAX. This really is a full metal uh, Tiger 1 early. Um, what did I say this was? This is tank 332. But anyway, this is an IR tank and this is going to be my Tamiya compatible battler. So for that, we've got the RC2TG and the Mako board. And uh, it's also going to get a Viper and the relay to control smoke both of them will get that the viper and the smoke relays are still in the mail i've been working with a guy named kevin granham at rc tanks australia and this guy is just phenomenal i wouldn't have been able to do any of this without him he's uh, he's been so patient and talked me through this stuff and he's been just terrific to a newbie rookie like me he's been a great guy to work with and his prices are good too so um Anyway, like I said on the S33, the only thing I might still do is add a Komodo. I've been having some problems with electromagnetic interference. So much new science for an old hippie like me to learn about for this hobby. But uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I've had to add an extra capacitor to both motors. Uh, this has helped quite a bit with the, with the EMI. Um, especially on the Komodo. I've got another one in a um, in another IR tank and it functions just perfect. I got rid of the track recoil and, and it really works great. This is tank 332. It will be uh, my Tamiya compatible IR battler. So it's got the uh, RC2TG and the Mako um, and they'll both be able to uh, have the volume adjusted and the smoke turned on and off from the transmitter. So that's where we're at with these. The, like I said, the S33 is pretty much ready to go. Still got to do the Viper and the relay for the uh, smoke on and off. But so far everything works great. Still working on the IR version. Got to get the Mako hooked up and some other stuff to do. But anyway, just wanted to give you a little preview and say that uh, if you're watching this because you're thinking about getting into the hobby grade and if you got any questions or anything in particular that you want me to show or cover with this system, like I say, this is the one from RC Tanks Australia. He's got good prices. Uh, he's got great customer service. Uh, this is the time to ask questions, things that you want me to go over or anything like that, guys. Uh, and if you don't, that's cool too, man. Hope I didn't bore you too much. Uh, we'll see you next time.